Hello ladies and gentlemen, Panzer here, and welcome to Gunner Heat PC. Yeah, it's, uh, for those who don't know, that is actually what you call a fire control order or a fire command. And this, of course, is a tank simulator. And for those who don't know, I was actually a former tank commander out on board the Leopard 2A4. And so I thought it'd be a fun idea to jump into what is looking to be a pretty realistic tank simulator and see what's what. Right, so here we are. This is an M60A3 TTS. Uh, this is a pretty good example of a Cold War era tank, actually. I wonder if we can just switch views here. There we go. So you can have a look. Yep, that's exactly what it is. And if we do around these things, they're actually pretty big. Look at the control. So we're moving along. You got a fully stabilized uh, gun there. Uh, but fully stabilized means that, of course, the tank itself can traverse its hull without affecting the gun all that much. And that's kind of what you want. So we're going to drive along. And of course, we can direct the gun wherever we choose by holding right mouse. And I gotta say, it's really beautifully animated. Really, really nice. And let's see, we've got some tanks over here. We got this little arrow down here that shows the direction that our gun is going to move. And you can notice that it is actually pretty slow to try and move it this way. And the reason is you want to designate targets for the gunner. You don't want the tar gunner to be going, oh, traverse around, do this way, do or traverse that way, do this way. Right, so we're going to jump into a couple of other vehicles here. So what do we have? Let's see, I'm going to switch views here. We've got an M1 Abrams. Let's go. And we've got an M2 Bradley over here. we got a UAZ if we want to use that. BRDM, which yeah, I believe this is a wheeled vehicle. Uh, let me have a look. Yeah, this is a the wheeled uh, APC. Very lightly armored. We've got an emplaced anti-tank uh, guided missile here, 9K11. And we've got a T-55. Now this will be interesting seeing how the T-55 is compared to the M60. Alright, here we go. Alright, so the crew is doing their reports. Uh, we are a, it look, looks to be a single M60A3, and our mission is to reach a friendly position up ahead and protect them from possible advancing enemy tanks. Now, we don't know where these tanks are. Not a clue. But, uh, we are going to find out. Of course, we need to get there before the friendlies, you know, get destroyed by a group of T-55s. That would not be ideal at all. And it looks like they found something. Yeah, it does appear that he's shooting at something moving down there. That that does appear to be an enemy tank there. So we're going to switch over to... We're going to use the commander site for this one here. All right. Let's laze the target here. Okay, this one's moving, so we want to aim a little bit ahead. Uh, he's getting closer as well, so I'm going to relays that. Alright, that was dead center. That was dead center, but it uh, ricocheted off of his hull. We've got some BRDMs down there as well, so we want to probably switch ammo types for those. Uh, lays this guy here. That hit the terrain in front of us. Okay, tank on the right over here. Oh, we've been hit. We've been hit. And that's how quickly you can get knocked out. That's amazing. It's not like a lot of uh, games where you just have, you know, a lot of hit points or anything like that. One hit can absolutely take you out. Okay, so having learned our lesson from the last time, hopefully. Hang on, I've just noticed something. It says, who cares, dude? It's an MRE box. Okay, that's pretty funny. <laughs> okay, we're going to go up here. We're going to stay in the sort of higher position up here. Because... Uh, we do want to maintain some range and distance from the T-55s. We don't want to expose our position immediately. And I think that was one of the issues. Sitting on the road is a very predictable place to be. So you definitely don't want to be caught out like that. But at the same time, navigating through these trees is difficult because you have this big gun turret. And you don't want to necessarily be uh, smashing into trees either or breaking your gun by getting it stuck inside a tree. That's not what you want. Okay, so we got another M60 over here that's firing. So definitely don't want to just charge on in there. 
Okay, so we've got a uh, fire order to the left there. Yep, there's a tank. All right, we got one. Okay, we got one more. And fire. Okay, that was good. That was good. I just want to advance forward a little bit more here. Okay, that was over. I'm going to relaze it. Okay, we hit him. Repeating fire on that that target. There we go. That one's definitely total kill. All right, we got another tank over here. All right, we hit him in the engine. Ooh, that was amazing. That was a total crew knockout right there. Okay, I want to point out as well, what you're hearing in the background are the commands and fire orders from the commander to the gunner and the reports from the loader. The only person that's staying silent throughout all of this is the driver, and that's very normal. I also do want to point out that all of the FCO, which is fire control orders, and gunner reports and loader reports are all 100% accurate. So... Overall, what do I think of Gunner Heat PC so far? Well, uh, it's definitely a very realistic tank simulator. Uh, the controls are accessible. You don't have a million and one controls to use, and you've got little context menus such as this, which really just serves to make the experience a lot more accessible to people. And also, the fact that they've gone to the extent of having realistic crew voices, realistic commands, and realistic scenarios as well, as they, that all serves to make the, the game way more immersive, and crucially, it's something that has been lacking in games as of late, is just realistic tank combat. Uh, is it bare bones? Absolutely. It's an early access. It's definitely nowhere near completion yet, but as it is right now, I could play through all these scenarios and absolutely enjoy myself. And if you're a, a tank person as well, this is definitely, definitely one to watch. And honestly, in this current position, if you're a tank fan, it's definitely one to just pick up immediately. The AI in this game is also very smart. They know how to advance, they know how to move quickly, when to stop, when to take shots. The AI is also accurate as well with their shots and you can notice how friendly AI they know how to change formations when appropriate as well without being prompted it just adds to the immersion factor without you actually having to do all of it yourself the tank controls are simple and also if you're listening to the the commands you can actually you can actually get a very good indication of what's happening around you uh, or what to do, because the crew is even telling you, okay, in this case, yeah, you want to engage that target again. You you want to... You want to repeat fire, or there's a target to your right, you want to traverse right. They give you very useful information, and in a very realistic way, and I very much appreciate that. So, as we try to hit a, another target out here, which appears to be a T-55... I will say, my name is Panza, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Oh shit, I missed two, didn't I? That's better.